Welcome back, everybody, to Valheim. I am an old guy gaming in in this episode. We are going to farm up... Um, well, I'm going to farm up some more black metal. I'd like to have a little bit more uh, than I currently have to take back to the base in the ship. Uh, but I wanted to show you that, except for this little spot here where I accidentally punched a plant and killed it, um, I have a full um, field now of barley and flax. Uh, so... Uh, looking forward to, yeah, all of this maturing, and then when it does, we're going to go back to the main base, and we're going to build our new equipment that we need for processing this, and also hopefully uh, make some black metal stuff. Now, um, I did a live stream last night uh, for a few hours, and on that live stream, there was a couple of times uh, where I came back over to the single player game, because we were waiting for, for people and that sort of thing, uh, and that's when I came back and actually planted all of this. Um, so yeah, really excited for this. I do have, um, some of the, some of the, uh, high end food already in my inventory because, uh, one of the guys at the, on the, on the server gave it to me, uh, for our fights last night. Um, normally I, I probably wouldn't have, um, kept that, but since I now, uh, for all intents and purposes, have the ability to make it, I figured it wasn't that big of a deal to have it in just a little bit in advance. So I st still have, um, one more of each of those left over from last night. Now we had a lot of fun in last night's episode. What uh, our main, uh, the main thing that we did was we went around and, and re-killed the first four bosses again. Um, and they uh, were gracious enough to do that with me because I wanted to get all of the heads. Uh, so we have those, uh, can put those in our hall when we build it. Um, and then we just, you know, had our usual fun on the multiplayer server anyways. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use up the last bit of this food and go out and and just kill a bunch of goblins but um i'm gonna go jump in the ship and actually cross over to this little island here in hopes that we can find a prairie biome um if not we know there's one here too uh, and just kill goblins clear out villages and gather up as much black metal as i can before we make the journey back to our main base um and then start working on stuff so i'm gonna do most if not all of that off camera so i'll bring you guys back with an update uh, once I have enough black metal uh, to where I think it's time to go head back home. And then again, you know, the main thing that we are going to do in this episode is we are going to uh, build uh, our end game equipment. So our artisan table, our our windmill, our loom, the blast furnace, and I think those, those are the things. Uh, and then I want to make the black metal shield, the black metal sword, sword and the black metal... Um, what was the third thing? Oh, the axe. Yeah, the black metal axe. All right, guys, I will see you in a bit with an update.
right, guys, we cleared out another village here, and uh, this village appears to have, I think, two totems in it, which is really actually quite nice. Uh, there's one there, and there's one over here. Uh, there was like three shamans. I think there was one berserker that we killed. Um, and then, of course, as you saw from the video, the two-star fueling, which is very dangerous. Uh, but we managed to weaken him enough, you know, with our arrows uh, before we... Uh, finish, finished him off with melee, so I uh, see we're already out of weight uh, weight capacity, so uh, I'm also um, pretty much out of arrows too, so I think this is all we're going to do um, so I'm going to haul the rest of this, oh I got a, um, a berserker trophy head too, which is really cool um, I'm going to haul the rest of this iron back to the ship head back to our planes base, and then um, head back via ship to the main base and we're going to get started building our end game equipment so looking forward to that that's going to be cool um let's see we need to find a chest okay here's a chest over here to stash this stuff in and i'll just have to make a couple of trips so anyway um i will probably not see you guys again what the heck is that a sharpening stone oh that's cool um I probably won't see you guys again until uh, we're back at the main base with our load of black metal. So we're going to have two, probably around three full stacks that we pulled um, off of this island here. So, all right, guys, I will see you back at the main base and we'll go from there. All right, guys, we're back and uh, taking our load of black metal down to our ship. Uh, I did go ahead and make uh, just a real basic makeshift road here. Uh, so it's not real super smooth or flattened out or anything, but it should be enough of a pathway to get us down to the ship and get it loaded up. Um, so I don't know, uh, for what I understand, we need a lot of black metal uh, to, you know, make this stuff and upgrade it. So I don't know how much we have currently in terms of being able to do all of that. Um, so it's quite possible that we're going to have to, that Squido is going to attack us. Uh, quite possible that we're going to have to, um, you know, do another another round or maybe even two of this. I don't know, but we'll see um, how far it gets us and then go from there. Uh, so I'll show you how much black metal we have in total once we get the cart down here and get it loaded up. Turn it around here. Okay. So... Um, we're gonna, I guess I had some already in my inventory. So I'm gonna take everything out of here, um, that we can just take back through the portal. And then we'll line up all of our, uh, stuff, black metal here in the hold. Um, this is kind of heavy too, so let's put that in there too. I guess we may use this to make a, a grindstone, which is uh, an upgrade that we need for one of the workbenches. Um, okay, so we'll put, just temporarily put some of this in here so I have room uh, to grab those. Oh, still carrying too much. Okay, what else? Uh, 470, yikes. Okay, let's put, oh, that's just enough. Okay. We'll put this in here. Might be able to reach the hold without even jumping in the ship. Nope, can't quite get to it. Or maybe it looks like maybe just right on the corner I was able to. I don't know. Okay, so the final tally here is um, seven stacks plus two more. So again, I I don't know how far that's going to get us, but that's. Essentially, our first load of black metal. I think I might have two or three pieces back at the main base, too. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, take the cart back up to the base. And we also have... Um, we also have uh, all of our crops ready to harvest, too. So we're, I'm going to bring a, a, uh, a load of barley and flax back with us, too. So once we get everything set up, uh, we can start using that to... Uh, to process and then we're going to be in 
the in the in-game food, man. I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, so I will meet you guys back at the main base uh, when I arrive there in the ship, and then we'll get started with building our in-game equipment. See you in a bit. All right, guys, we are home and uh, just grabbing the last bit of our uh, black metal there. Uh, we had an uneventful trip. I used uh, motor's power uh, at one point to get, keep the wind in our favor. We ran into a couple of sea serpents, but we were able to outrun them. At some point, we're going to go um, hunting those guys, too. There's, um, uh, let's see, there's a serpent right around here that hangs out and one that hangs out here. Um, and they're both pretty close to the to the shore, too. So, anyway, um, this is what we ended up with. Of course, I've already showed that to you in the ship, but uh, we, we now have it back. And now it's time for us to um, do some construction. So, let's uh, get everything repaired here and I'm gonna put um, this back in here for now uh, we have this much barley and flax waiting to be processed so that's a nice little batch of uh, both of those crops there um, so yeah let's put that in there cloudberry is going here for the moment so I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're going to get rid of that bench there, and we're going to put the artisan station right here, and then um, the other stuff's going to go right outside behind it. So let's take a look and see what we need to make that sucker. So we just need wood and two dragon tears. Wow, that's, like, not a big deal. Let's go ahead and grab two dragon tears. I have an extra dragon tear that I got off of the, uh, off of the multiplayer server last night when we were streaming. Uh, by the way, if you guys are ever interested, uh, I try and stream on the weekends mostly, uh, Saturdays, Friday nights and Saturday nights. So if you guys ever want to catch a live stream, you're welcome to, to come and hang out and like to chat with you and all that. The only thing I will tell you is that when I live stream, um, I am uh, ahead of the YouTube episode. So it could possibly spoil a few things. Uh, so if you don't like to have a glimpse into the future, then you probably don't want to join me on a live stream. Uh, otherwise, I'd love to have you. Okay, so I'm going to put this right there. There we go. All right, we got our artisan station, man. Check it out. Awesome. So, do we not craft or anything in here at all? Really? It's weird. Do we craft the black metal stuff in here? Um. Okay. What am I missing? I mean, I know we have to... Oh, you know what? I need I need to smelt the black iron. Uh, that's what the deal is. Okay. So that means we need to make um, a blast furnace, which is this guy. And that doesn't look too terribly expensive. We also need to make a spinning wheel, and we need to make a windmill. So, the let's see. That requires 10 iron straight up. This requires a total of 40 iron nails. Okay, let's make those first. So we're going to need 30 and 10 more. I'm sure glad now that I, I went to all the effort to mine up the significant quantity of extra iron. Um, so because, you know, we're going to we're going to need it. Okay, so 40 nails. Did I miscount something? All right, here, let's put uh, this back in here for now. Okay, so, yeah, we just needed 40. Okay, so this needs uh, five leather scraps and some fine wood. Let's grab a stack of fine wood, and we'll grab some leather scraps. Now, um, can I sleep? Let's sleep, wait for it to get morning, and maybe we'll luck out, and it'll be, um, uh, the rain will go away. Because who likes to work in the rain, man? Not me. Not me. I grew up in the Pacific Northwest, in Washington State, and I, uh, I can do without rain for the rest of my life. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. Okay, we're going to need, I'm going to take down these two smelters. 
Um, so let's do that now. And we'll just grab all the stuff left over from them. And we'll just put all of this in here for the moment. Uh, we can reuse those cores for uh, for the blast furnace. Um, now I think I think I'm gonna move these guys too. And we're gonna we're gonna set up a, a hearth like the big fireplace thing, a doodle, uh, when we build our uh, our hall. So let's grab this guy here. And I'm just going to take him and put him over here. Because these two furnaces, uh, or I mean uh, smelters, I'm not planning on doing anything with. We're going to keep them there. And I'm probably going to keep the two kilns where they are too. Uh, at least for, for now. At least for now. Okay, so let's go ahead and pick all of this stuff up and get rid of it. I'm going to grab that that stuff too. We we might leave that. Well, no. I think that's going to be in the way too. So let's grab that. Need a little bit of food there. Um if we have to, we might go around the corner here too, but let's just see uh what we can do. Now, I know the blast furnace is pretty darn big, so we might I wonder if we could put that here. Uh, I don't know. Let's let's see. I want to actually before we make the blast furnace, let's make this the uh, let's make this first because this is what's going to get us into our good food. So we need twenty stone and thirty wood. Whip. Okay, twenty stone and thirty wood. There we go. All right, now, um, this is, that's where the out, I guess that's the output, that's an input. Hmm. Are they, oh, I bet. You put it in the back and it comes out the front and the things on the side are just decorative? Hmm, I don't know. Okay, uh... Let's... Let's zoom out a bit, too, so I can see a little bit better. What, oh, okay. So the windmill needs enough room to, to pivot. I see what's going on here. Okay. Um, we don't really have a lot of space in our yard for this, do we? What if we put it, we could put it there. Can't, oh, okay, it would go there too. I mean, it's a little close to the portals, but. Eh, what about, there's probably no way to put it back over here. Oh, well, yeah, but see, that would bang into the, to the building. I think when the, uh, the turbine, you know, rotates, because it's going to rotate. Could put it out in the garden, I guess. It doesn't matter a whole lot, guys, because this is temporary. You know, we are going to rebuild everything here. So I'm thinking we just put it... Uh, I guess we can put it here, or we put it here. I don't really want it blocking the stairs. So let's just put it as far back this way as it'll let me go. Nah, I still don't like that. <laughs> I still don't like that. Uh, how big is this? Oh, this isn't big at all. Okay. How about if we put this here? Like so. Nope, the wheel's sticking into the wall. I know it, the game doesn't care, but I do. So we'll hold it out right about here. There, that looks good. Okay. Um, and now back to the windmill. I just wanted to make sure we had enough room for, you know, for that. Um, it'll let me put it here. What if we turned it? 
See, I still don't want the turbine to smash into the house, though. I don't know if that has a hitbox on it or not. So it kind of doesn't matter which direction we turn it, does it? Um, I almost think that we should put maybe put the kiln here and put the windmill where the ki this kiln is. Yeah, let's try that. Let's try that. We'll put all this coal in here. Decisions, decisions, right? Okay, so let's pick this guy up. Yeah, I think I'm gonna like this this idea better because we can, you know, we can push it quite a ways back, all the way back to about there, and we can even move it over this way a bit. There we go. I guess that's not going to hit the fence because it probably wouldn't have um, let us put it there. Well, does this have a hitbox? I can't really tell. All right. Well, you know what? We're going to leave it that way. And if it if it hits the fence when it turns around that way, we'll have to, we'll have to do something different with it later, I guess. Now let's see about this guy. Oh, I guess this guy's not as big as I thought he was going to be. Okay, so the output's there. And I guess we put the metal and the coal on that side here. So, yeah, this will fit nicely right about here. There's nothing really long sticking out the back of that, right? Oh, we need tin iron. Okay. I only think we need to make one of one of these because I, as far as I know, the only thing we are going to do in it is black metal, and we, we're only going to do black metal as long as we need to to make the three items that you can make from it, and then after that we probably won't use it that much. All right, cool, very cool. Okay, I think that's it. Oh, we need to do the uh, this thing too, the grinding wheel. This is a forge improvement. So we need 25 wood. Um, 25 wood. Do I not have any more wood? I might have to go cut some wood, which means maybe the black metal axe will be the first thing we'll make. Um, let's see. Wood. Yeah, see, I don't have normal wood here. Uh, I mean, I don't have enough normal wood. Let's put that back in there. All right, well. I guess I gotta go cut some wood. Um, how much did it say we needed? I'm not gonna cut a ton because uh, because I'm gonna make the black metal axe. So I'm just gonna cut an enough. I'll, I'll cut like one stack. So 25 is all we actually need. But then we'll have a little extra. And then I think that's everything new that we can make. If uh, if I'm looking at everything right. Okay, so I'm gonna go cut some wood. I'll be back in a bit. Okay, we're back. Um, I actually got quite a bit more wood because when I was cutting trees, you know, the whole domino effect thing happened. Ah, uh, so let's see. Where am I putting... Yeah, that's where I'm putting these. I don't know why. I'll probably... I might actually plant some trees at some point. We'll see. Okay, so we need to make the grinding wheel for the forge. And so we want to grab the wheel that we got from the goblin camp out of there. And... We just got to figure out where to put it. Man, too bad I couldn't just squeeze it right in there. That would have been a good spot for it. Um, yep. Game safe. We could put a shelf up there, maybe. I don't want it really by the door. Man, that would have been perfect to just stick it right there, but it doesn't... The hitbox isn't going to let me do that. All right, let's put... Um, we can't really put a shelf there because we have the tool rack. So let's put a shelf up there. And then uh, hopefully we can stick it up there. Crafting. Oh, come on, game. Really? Really, really, really? 
Does it matter if I turn it this way? Probably not. That's even worse. Yeah, it does not want me to put it up there. Well, um... <laughs> this sucks. How about... Uh, that's a terrible place to put it. I guess I'm going to have to just put it in front of this doorway for now. I mean, it's not like we need two doors anyways. Um, again, understanding this is all a temporary setup. So, yep, that's what we're going to have to do. Ah, that sucks. Okay. Here's what it is. Um, okay, so we built everything that we can build. Now it is time to get some processing going. So, let's get some black metal going first because that's probably what's going to take the longest. I'm going to grab all of this coal here. And we load it up here. Okay. Can you, I wonder, can you process normal ores in those two, or is it just for black metal? I don't know the answer to that question. I don't think I have any other raw ores. Okay. There we go. I wonder how long that takes. Well, that's kind of cool how it, spits the sparks and stuff out the top nice little effect and it's got like an automatic bellows and everything very cool just curious how long it's going to take to spit that first ingot out because once we pick it up that's going to give us our recipes all right well let's let that continue on oh there it goes okay so that's roughly equivalent to the same amount of time that anything else would take yeah i don't have any other ores to to try in there so let me know in the comments guys if that smells anything or if it's just for black metal um all right now let's grab our crops here and we're gonna load up this guy so we'll put 40 in at a time oh it says it requires a roof oh okay um Okay, let's load up this. Didn't give myself a lot of room to get in behind here, did I? So this will take 50 at a time. Look at it grinding in there. That is neat. They probably left the hole in there just so we could see the grindstone working. <laughs> I love it. Do we want our, like, fresh milled barley landing on the dirt, though? I don't know about that idea. I think we need to... Put something down there. Um, I'm gonna need to build a stone uh, cut stone cutter. If I'm because I want to put a stone slab underneath it. This is just just for funsies, of course. Um, what else do we need for the stone cutter? Ten more pieces of wood. We're just going to put this here temporarily. And now let's go building and slab. Oh, it doesn't it doesn't snap to that. Interesting. Okay, well we're just going to just do that, I guess. Cool. That way our our fresh milled barley will land on the on the clean stone instead of in the dirt. All right, you guys. Let's pick this stuff up and see what it unlocks. Shield, tower shield, and that's it? What about the axe and all the other stuff? Do I already know how to make that? Okay, let's look in here. You still can't craft anything in there? So do we have to do it all in here then? Okay, black metal shield, black metal tower shield. Why do we not know the axe and the... Oh, I wonder if it's because we need flat, uh, the, the, the woven stuff first. I'll bet you that's what it is. Okay, let's put another load of black metal in the thing. Well, as much as it'll let us put in there anyway. So we probably need to wait for that that well we can't because we gotta get a roof over it, so okay, load that up. We need more coal. 
Let's break this. We don't need that to stay there. Uh, let's grab some more coal. Alright, so I guess for this we'll just put a roof up there because I don't know where in the world I would put it inside of here. There's no place for it at the moment. Um, unless we put it like... Yeah, we don't need to do that. Let's just... Let's just make a roof over it. That's all we gotta do and I think we'll be fine. Okay, so building... Let's grab uh, the roof here. We'll turn it this way. There it goes. Okay. Guess we don't even need that one. Now it's working. <laughs> I love it. It's awesome. So I wonder how long does it take for this stuff to cycle? That's done four pieces so far. This is definitely something you're going to want to load up right before you go to bed. Okay, let's grab those cores. Um, actually, here, let's... Wow, look at that thing going nuts. So it's actually clearing the fence. I guess it is, anyways. The wind has got that thing cranking. Does that make it go faster? I mean, harvest, or, uh, process faster. We, got, we, <laughs> we even have sparks in there. Oh my goodness. just trying to see if I can get a feel for how if this actually in in fact speeds it up in terms of the process and you would think it would because it's going faster but I don't know if the actual game mechanic works that way okay so so I guess we don't get the stuff until oh we can pull it out of there oh oh okay I see but this stuff falls on the ground there we go. Okay, we got black metal at gear, black metal axe, black metal knife, padded armor, porcupine, and black metal sword. Nice. All right, you guys. There's more black metal stuff than I thought. Well, of course, not all that was black metal, though. So we just actually can pull that out of there. I kind of don't like my a nice clean thread just dropping right on the muddy ground either. I mean, we don't really care about metal from dropping on the ground so much. So, what if we... Yeah, let's put another stone thing down there. Just for funsies. That way our thread drops on the clean stone, not on the ground. I mean, we'll we'll put this indoors when we when we build our hall, of course, because that's really intended to be an indoor dude. But uh, for now, it's just gonna have to stay there. All right, cool, man. This is awesome. Love this game. So fun. Um, all right. So we're gonna grab this. Um, let's grab barley and. Oh, we don't have room for it. Okay. And there's our new recipes. Look at that. Oh, we've been waiting for that. Yes, we have. We have been waiting for that. Okay. A little bit of lag going on. So let's take a look and see what we need, what the ingredients are uh, for all of this stuff. Um, I guess we'll put the linen stuff in there for now. Okay, so for fire resistance potion. Ah, oh, nice. I wonder if we're going to need that for the last boss. Okay, blood pudding requires thistle and blood uh, bags, which... This requires just fish and barley, which isn't bad. This requires cloud berries, two lox meat, and four barleys. Okay, nice. 
Um, when I was on the multiplayer server, we went out and got a whole bunch of lox meat. Uh, me and the, the guys were just killing a bunch of loxes, so I got a big supply of lox meat. What I don't have a lot of are thistles. Um, and I don't have a ton of cloudberries either, so we're going to have to go on a cloudberry run. Um, bread, even by itself, does 40 health and 70 stamina. Um, how does that compare to carrot soup? Yeah, 20 and 70. So even just the bread uh, it requires 10 flour, though. That's kind of expensive. I mean, in the long run, it won't be, but kind of expensive. Okay, so we're going to have to go fishing for fish wraps. Let's make some lox meat pies. Best food in the game, aside from serpent stew. Uh, so I need to put this up here. Let's put the metal back in here and the stone back in here and I want to actually let's load this back up and load this back up yes yeah, I didn't know this didn't fall down on the on the ground but apparently it doesn't okay so that's eight flowers um, what's the matter with you? Are you out of coal? Uh, no, you're out of ore. Okay. So we need uh, ten of these. Let's take that coal as well. Okay. We have two more of these. Yes, we do. So that gives us a total of twenty. Um. So for lox meat pie, we need two cloudberries. Two. Oh, we need cooked lox meat. Ugh, okay. Uh, and <laughs> I just took all my cooking stations down too. Uh, I wonder if we should set up um a hearth out here, just temporarily. Along, we could set it up along the wall here. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. That we we can. Get some serious cooking going on here. So let's get all this stone out of the way. We're going to need some stone for the hearth, though, I'll bet. Let's put the coal in there. So what do we need for that? Ah, we got to build the freaking uh, stone cutter thing again. Put that there. Now to build the hearth, which is I guess miscellaneous. There we go. That'll give us Yeah, we yeah, definitely gonna be able to cook a lot of stuff at the same time there. Alright, so let's just set it right alongside the house here because it's already got the roof. Hopefully that's enough roof. If it isn't, we might have to extend it a little bit. I might even let's just try that. Okay, we'll put some wood in and see what it does. Uh, oh, I guess we have wood there. So the roof's not completely covering it, but it seems to be doing a decent enough job. All right. Now let's get uh, these guys out, and we're going to set up four of these there we go all right so that means we can cook uh, eight lox meat at a time and lox meat takes longer to cook than normal meat like three or four times as long in fact so let's put some stone in there We want eight of these. Okay, lox meat is cooking. C cooking away, man, cooking away. Let's grab some more barley flour. Got another ten out of that. That's a good deal. Put that stuff in there. 
and let's load this up again. We've got some serious production going on, don't we? All right, so we have to wait for that lox meat to finish cooking. And I'm not going to eat the, the carrot soup um, because we'll eat the lox meat pie to celebrate our first lox meat pie that we made ourselves. I mean, I've had it before from Multiplayer, but this will be the first time I've made it. So big, big, big landmark, uh, or not landmark, but goal in the game here. Okay, so we got some cooked lox meat. Uh, do, do we grab cloudberries? No, we need cloudberries. Oh, yeah, I'm going to have to go pick a whole bunch of those. And I think that's everything we need, right? Here we go. Um, oh, inventory's full. All right, look at this, you guys. Lox meat pie. Om nom nom. All right, cool. So I think uh, I think that's it for this episode. We've got a lot of black metal stuff to make, but uh, we've, uh, you know, I have a feeling like I've gone very long <laughs> in this episode. Uh, so what we will do uh, in the next episode is we will start making our black metal gear after I get all the black metal processed. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of fishing so we can make some fish, uh, fish wraps, fish tacos, whatever they're called. And... Um, I was, I was, I was trying to. There was like a third thing I think I had to do. But anyway, we're gonna process all of our stuff. I'm gonna go fishing, and then when I bring you guys back, we will um, start making our black metal stuff with, you know, or at least as much as we can make with what we have. Oh, and we want to also start making our padded armor too. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.